What's going on everyone? We have a new equipment for our junk hauling business. And that equipment is dump trailer. Went out, got a dump trailer for my business. I should make life more easier. But before we get into showing you a preview of the dump trailer, I wanna show you real quick of my old five by eight utility trailer that, you know, I made it work, so show you that real quick so this is my five by eight utility trailer i actually bought it for just doing yard work and then created a junk removal business to uh, supplement my income and um, i'm just trying to build up that business but this is the first trailer that i utilize in my business again five by eight utility trailer i added these custom rails from an actual job uh, basically uh they had their deck rebuilt so they needed the deck rails to be removed and they had some fresh wood that wasn't used from that project i basically utilized some hardware from that job and uh, i just repurposed the wooden rails putting up some custom rails on my utility trailer got my craftsman saw here so we got three of the custom siding up i gotta add the fourth one repaint restructure on the other side to reinforce the weight but the whole uh goal is to be able to you know just load up this trailer without things <laughs> to fall out doesn't look the best it doesn't look super professional but i made it work and trust me <laughs> these rails they have helped whenever it comes to uh bedroom sets mattress frame anything that was all super bulky these rails they held on to that load perfectly fine more or less i made this work so what i'm basically trying to say is don't get pressure to purchase a dump trailer don't go broke utilize what you have if you just got a truck put some rails on your truck build yourself up if you got a utility trailer these some type of fa fabrication uh make you some rails and uh you know get the job done this this is my baby i'm gonna uh, end up you know fixing this up and utilizing this for something else or for jobs but again when i bought the trailer it had a bent axle the axle still bent but she still works do you have some options of replacing that axle, but trying to budget my money and I got a whole bunch of other projects to do. I got to fix this fence and move these branches. I, all that's money. Again, utilize the tools that you have and then build up your business as your business scales up. This is the seven by 12 dump trailer. It's supposed to be roughly uh, 10,000 pounds. Payload, we looking at about seven. I gotta get a, uh, a pin so I can put there so that way as I'm driving down the road it doesn't uh, you know unlock it so not to say that it will but uh yeah both doors wide open you can basically hook it up to the side there's a pin here so you just basically take this on the hook and then you can lock it in there okay you want to do that whenever you're at the dump so that way your gate doesn't swing back and forth so you guys gotta excuse me uh for some reason it's like every time i'm recording that's when someone <laughs> wants to call my phone <laughs> now when i'm not recording my phone's quiet but anyway let's get back to this uh review of the dump trail now i took the ladders off the side let me tell you something those ladders are extremely extremely heavy <laughs> I'm not saying it's like too heavy to carry, but it is added weight to your trailer. So if you're not going to use the actual ramps, 
often, then I would suggest to, you know, take them off the sides. That way you'll lighten up the weight of the trailer and also the weight that's on your truck. So, yep, let's just step on up here. Now, uh, also to keep in mind is that when the weather has changed, you know, it's either, you know, rain or snow, it's going to be extremely sl slippery trying to get in and out of the dump trailer. So, you know, do be mindful. Uh, if you have a lip at the end, at least try to utilize that. Put your foot inside the lip and then lift yourself up. But uh, definitely keep that in mind. That also brings up another thing. Underneath the trailer, what I've noticed is that the bottom of the actual dump trailer, uh, it looks like that basically done a lot of spot welding um, up underneath. So I'm definitely thinking of something to kind of reinforce this uh, to make it more, you know, a, a solid base. And also that way to protect it from you know your heavy loads i'm not really concerned about you know it being scuffed up but definitely uh when it comes to actually applying heavy load to it built-in toolbox comes with lock inside my actual box we got the battery pump your control module to lift up the dump trailer bed i typically keep my gloves carpenter paper towels straps in here on that side of the section so that way you know at any given time i need to strap something down i always have that ability to do so so as you can see it's two axles four wheels yeah she's got led lights all around and also the trailer does have brake system so you're not just utilizing your truck brakes you're actually utilizing trailer brakes it's definitely needed do a quick demo two dual hydraulic pumps the hydraulic is hydraulic up and then uh air gravity down if that makes sense got our two dual pumps got our two axles uh, each wheel has its braking system so definitely go up but i'm not trying to do right now i'll definitely show you guys a uh, video of the actual uh you know dump trailer being in use right now we really don't have an actual load so this dump trailer has served a major purpose uh when it comes to my business uh it allows me to haul more loads you know i'm able to go from customer to customer and maybe another customer before i have to actually go to the dump so i'm able to gain more versus spending more time on the road to the landfill and back my next things that i want to do is build up some higher wood sidewalls so that way I can also add more to the jump trailer referring to like, you know, just your home items. OK, now I'm not referring to like gravel or, you know, stuff of, of that nature that's really heavy because the dump trailer is still going to have its, you know, maximum low capacity of 7,000 pounds. So even if you build up the walls higher, you still got to keep that in mind. 7,000 pounds is the max load for the dump trailer. But building up bigger side walls allows you to be more receivable of more home items, home junk. It's similar to my actual 5x8 utility trailer. Without the wooden rails, I have a limit capacity of where the actual metal frame is. For instance, I have a big couch or a couple of couches. I'm going to really have to strap those couches down to so that way they're not lopsided if those wooden rails was not there. Now that those wooden rails are on this actual utility trailer, you know, I could throw some, a couple of mattress, box springs, framing rails, and just keep on running. It's going to be more beneficial to stand that couch up to allow more load inside your trailer. I wouldn't recommend you guys to kind of rush to get a dumb trailer. You know, start off from your truck. Then get, if you can't afford a dump trailer at that time, you know, go for it. But make sure that you can afford it, okay? Again, I started off with just a truck. Then I, you know, built myself up, got a 5x8 utility trailer. Then from the utility trailer, 
work myself up with a dump trailer. My uh, utility trailer, like, uh, uh, not, let me tell you, I scored that one good. That was before the COVID pandemic. So uh, I got that utility trailer for $200. But uh, yeah, most definitely uh, also, as you can see here, So, you know, majority of that is spot welds. You got solid welds up top, but underneath is just spot welds. So keep that in mind uh, that if you're going to use your dump trailer, um, take it to the shop uh, welder and get, just have them try to weld it as much as possible. Uh, so that way, you know, the bottom of the uh, dump trailer frame, you know, you keep it nice and tight and snug, especially for your super duper uh, heavy, heavy loads, like people that's gonna just haul it for like, you know, heavy stuff like gravel and uh, rocks, construction rocks, you know, uh, concrete, you know, if you're gonna do that, highly recommend that you reinforce the welds. Cause the last thing what you want is to, you know, have a excavator continue to dump concrete and heavy, heavy stuff. And uh, eventually, uh, you know, those, baby spot welds, you know, tend to give over time. But I'm not saying that will happen, but I'm just always saying, you know, always, always have a backup plan. Yeah, she, she works good. Uh, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to actually use it for my, my yard. I got some uh, trees that have fallen that I gotta actually cut down, but I gotta buy a new saw. So that is it for this video. Um, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and definitely hit that notification. So that way you will be notified for my next video. And uh, yeah, man, shout out to all my new subscribers. Shout out to my day subscribers. Shout outs to everybody that's from my uh, actual video log channel. Um, and that's uh, a word for Mr. Jones. Again, my other YouTube channel is a word for Mr. Jones. Shout, shout outs to all the hard workers, um, all of the junk removal business out there. Shout out to all you guys, especially here in Baltimore. As I continue to build up this business, pay bills off, especially the truck. I'm definitely going to be uh, looking towards having a backup truck. Even if the backup truck can only haul this utility trailer, that's that's perfect. That's good as enough for me. I can I can run this trailer, do multiple loads. That's perfect for me. That way I can at least continue to keep income, you know, going on. I'm learning. We're all learning. So it's the only way we can. Uh, that's the only way we can get to the top, baby. That's the only way. So anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. I'm gone. Peace.